okay. Right. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Okay. We gonna be all right. Say we gonna be, be all, all right. right. Uh. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Lake Geary Gumbo coming at you. How's it going? Good night, whatever time you're watching this. Depending on your time zone. You know what I'm saying? What's <laughs> going on, baby? All, all my homies in Alaska, what's going on? What's Raise your hands up. Anchorage, let me see those hands. <laughs> Man. How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? I'm all right. I got, a, I got a bad back. Got, Elias threw his back. back out. I threw my back out on uh, Saturday. I'm 24 years old, and I threw my back out. Still getting pimples. What the fuck's going on with me, man? Too much polka music, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Too much polka. You fuck your back up. Dude, what is polka? I'm not even yeah, Polish. It's, it's like traditional Polish music. Yeah? yeah. You danced today? It's, it's whack. Were you, like, dressed in clogs and... Yeah, I was eating that. strudels. Dancing in the middle of the floor. I was eating strudel. Broke my back. I actually would like to try to play the accordion, though. I heard it's very, very hard yeah, to dude. learn. It like, takes a lot of skill, focus, admiration. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on. But uh, your boy Elias is not polka in. Polkin. Polking. Uh, Polkin. Polkin. <laughs> He's not polking uh, around these parts. I did go to the Polish festival. Festival. <laughs> Shout out to Zabawa, because that shit was lit. Yeah, buddy. Right. Voodoo, words are hard. Voodoo, voodoo brood. Uh, words are hard. Voodoo bro- <laughs> Names are hard. Shout out to Voodoo Brewing, because they poured up a Polish fucking brew for that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there was a lot of nice looking, you know, ladies in their late, mid-60s. It was like the Wrinkle Ranch of uh, the East Side. Hey. It's like the Wrinkle Ranch of the East. Is there a lot of uh, Sugar Mom energy? Um, no. Me and Sam should have been there if there was a lot of Sugar Mom energy, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've been yeah, for I mean, yeah, you know. Dude, the, the, the whole angel. place smelled like pierogies, uh, a church basement. There were a bunch of like fine china dolls. Yeah. It smelled like a church basement, or there was a church basement? <laughs> it smelled like a church basement. So there wasn't a church basement? What is the church basement? Like you guys like? weren't hanging out in the basement. Bro, of the you church. don't know. Mildred, you don't know. You, you don't know about this middle class, middle class. white Methodist, Methodist church, church basement. basement. <laughs> you don't know shit. Yeah. What does it smell like? It has a very distinct yeah, smell. Anything it smells could, like disappointment. Anything could go on in this stale basement bread from like a rabbit stew cook off to like a ping pong tournament. Oh, you know? they're, so like, oh yeah, like, they're it's a melting pot of really odd smells, man. Fringe for getting fellowship, if you know what I'm talking about. It smells like unheard prayers. Bro, my buddy's <laughs> No, fact. <laughs> My buddy Zach Hyman, uh he he did Boy Scouts as a kid. Yeah. And so he uh he was doing charity work for this Methodist church, and all the white chairs that the Methodist church used in their church basement all had meth on them. <laughs> they all just said meth on them. It was just meth. Awesome. They, yeah. Meth and Jesus. Yeah, but shout out Zabawa. Yeah. I'm not Polkin, though. J.R.R. Tolkien, Polkin. Baby with the Falcon. That was beautiful. You should write that down. Put in your next song. I don't... You can make anything a hit these days. Yes, you can. I throw my money on the flow. Mm. That is, that mm. is a low key mm. hit though. Mm. 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 Yo, if y'all have never seen this fucking video, uh, I want you to bless yourself today. Go to YouTube and Google search. I throw money. my money on the flow, <laughs> and look for a crackhead in a white t-shirt. That's how I kick it when I smoke. I throw my money on the flow. It's so uh, it's so raw. Yeah, you feel him. This dude was like an EP away from a record deal. Dude, he would just have to smoke crack in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there are any rappers that smoke crack in the yes. studio? <sighs> yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? I think so. I don't know. If not in the studio, they've definitely done it on the premise. Like DMX smoke crack, right? Or is that just? folklore i think that's i think that's crack 
I think it's folklore, but he probably was just coked up, man. He was free based in cocaine. No, like not free. Like that's what I'm saying. Like he wasn't like smoking crack, but he was just doing a lot of coke, which will make you a crackhead. I just when I see like online like a bunch of like crackheads or like drug addicts like freestyle on the side of the road, mm-hmm. I just feel like it's DMX. It sounds the flows DMX, the energy's DMX. He does. He does Yeah, the the crackhead. Style, the voice. Of bro, the there's some head. real energy for fucking addiction that I just feel, bro. Oh, yeah. The addiction and struggle, like, you can just hear it in his voice, man. Like, yeah. I, I think I I, 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 I. I love DMX, man. Shout out to DMX. I, I think he probably did some crap. He's like one of the only rappers that had a website solely dedicated to letting you know if he was in jail or not. It's like www.isdmxinjail.com. You could either have a picture, <laughs> it would say like yes, and it would have like a disappointed picture. Like he'd be like looking disappointed. Like I think it was like in a courtroom or something. And there's like another one where he was like when he was free, and he was like no, and it just like had a picture of him smiling in a convertible. It's like, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. yeah, you gotta let the world know your uh, jail status. He got locked up for a lot of shit, man. Yeah, but hey, uh, speaking of. Uh, Speaking of crime and punishment mm. and uh, matters of the law, mm. being that this is America, let's talk about this Joker movie recently. Hey. Yeah, the Joker movie. Big ticket item. Hey. So far, Click 2019. Bait. Click bait. It's been. <laughs> trigger warning. It's been uh, It's been <laughs> Baby Shark, Takashi 6 9 and the Joker. And the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and R. Kelly finally going down. That was, yeah, that was a Kelly. monumental moment, too. Yeah. Sicko. But anyways, the Joker. Great so we movie. All, we all got the uh, the blessing of going to see it together. Like a yeah. family. Great, it was great nice. I, that was, I saw it twice. I saw it twice. Once on yeah. um, Thursday and then once on Sunday. The first time I saw it, I was... Contemplatively concerned and disturbed, um, and the second time I saw it with you guys, I was just sad. I was in my bag afterwards. Yeah, I, I, it's hard to explain. Um, I wouldn't say Joaquin Phoenix plays a sympathetic character, but uh, the humanity side of his performance really shines through in it. It's it's almost touching. It's it's freakishly touching. Yeah, I think. Uh, and you feel and it's and you feel. Conf- I felt conflicted how proud I felt for him when he's spoiler alert standing on the cop car during the on the yeah. I, yeah. I, I felt weird how I felt conflicted how 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 proud I felt for his character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Isn't that weird? As a character, he just yeah. plunged a, he just plunged Gotham City into riots, darkness, and crime, and psychotic. That's just wild. You, because because you could see his pain. It it was built up super well, and I think the character, yo, uh, everybody, no matter who you are, I feel like you will be able to relate to one aspect of who he was. Yeah. Because it, it, it was <laughs> it wasn't a singular type of character. It was like a universal person that had right multiple struggles. In like different facets, whether it's personal, uh, like internal, external, you know what I mean. He had a bunch of struggles that y- you'll be able to relate to at least one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, wow. Uh, if anybody knows the movie Taxi Driver, it was one of very uh, similar, man. Very uh, one of uh, Scorsese's early movies in the '70s, and Robert De Niro. Shouts to De Niro. Dude. Was actually in it, and he's in the Joker. I was really surprised to see him in the Joker. I know. He, I he showed up, know. and I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. It's like, holy crap. Man. What's up, uncle? It's and uncle then, Rob. uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the taxi driver has similar themes of just like living in this urban, um, living in this like metropolis city, urban environment, and, and nobody cares. And nobody for cares, it. and everybody's slowing. Like, nothing matters. It's moving so fast that everybody's slowing down, and you People go crazy. Just killing themselves on drugs, and yeah, everyone's it, scum. It kind of had that. It kind of had that vibe to it. It wasn't directly, but um, I thought the the parallel was strong. I don't know. I Ta- didn't see Taxi Driver. 
Taxi it's a, driver, it's a classic. Yeah, it's like, uh, like mid seven, early early to mid seventies. Yeah. Huh? Are you talking to me? Like the whole like yeah. in the, like in the mirror scene and like yeah. pulling out you talking to in the me? mirror. Like that was like one of like the first movies that like it like it had that scene and it was just so impactful and like was mimicked so many times. Yeah, but, like paid homage to not for so much sure. Yeah, mimic, yeah, yeah. You know? It's just like one of those classic cinematic moments. Another thing too, like it was one of De- uh, Robert De Niro's like first like uh, non Italian mobster fucking roles. Yeah, you know he had Raging Bull was, at the moment yeah, too, but he was just some dude. It wasn't really clear. He was a taxi driver. Yeah, but the Joker movie really was, I think, uh, I think it said a lot about our society and a lot about our culture, mm-hmm. a lot about how fragile we are as people. I don't know. Yeah, as a society too. Um, if if yeah. like going into this movie, I think uh, the best description I would give people of what the movie is, it's not. It's like a life story of a person that's suffering through experiences that happens to be a comic book movie. This isn't a comic book movie. Yeah, it's not. Like it's 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 a character from a comic book, but this is not a comic book movie. This is like a. This is like a. It's it's just a movie that shows you like, how, anybody could get like anybody could be the Joker, right? Yeah. If 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 you eliminate the suit, the the uh, green hair, the makeup, and this person is just infatuated with something else, like I don't know, being a gymnast or some shit, a, a, you know, a different outlet, and they they do the same things. I think people can still relate, especially if you like. Yeah, if you took away the the comic book lore. Yeah, the com- comic book legacy hmm. from the Joker. It could literally stand alone as a as a movie about the descent into madness. I thought the way that he, I thought the whole talk show thing about him loving this talk show and being raised on this talk show and this mm-hmm. guy being a hometown hero for him, a comedy figure for him, and. In the beginning of the movie, you kind of get the sense that he th- thinks of him as his father, like he, a father figure in yeah, his he, life. He really yeah. admires him. And the fact that th- that's how he reveals himself as his persona is kind of uh, full circle and like embryonic. It's like he was he he was in a shell the whole time, and now on this program that he's watched and loved and admired Murray his whole life, he just kind of blossoms, and then he kills him. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert! Yeah, we're giving sorry. away everything. By the way, I, I mean know. they should know. Yeah, nah. I mean we're gonna title this episode "Joker." Fucking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Disclaimer: We're giving away. Everything. And if you haven't seen it by now, dude, shame on you. Yeah. yeah. But don't, but don't feel too bad. <laughs> like, it'll be on Netflix you, you in need a year. To. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. How'd you feel about it? I mean, I definitely, you know, resonate with whatever you guys have just said. and Like, I don't know. Shit was crazy. Like, it really does make you think about um, just how fragile society is. And, like, I don't know. I said this to you guys after the film. For me personally, like, I still was able to, like, tie in that this was the story of the Joker. Yeah. That these things were supposed to happen. That things were supposed to be, like, a little bit more dramatic in like, although, like, you can see something like this similarly happening today, like, I don't know. You saw it as, like, oh, well, this is what I was almost expecting. I was expecting yeah. this crazy, right? crazy shit. Yeah. 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 I, I see I, that. I see that. Like, Go shit's got to pop off. You yeah. Know? Um, a, lot of, a lot of times in the movie, like, I really suspended my reality to where, like, hmm. I got pulled in. And I was just trying to like see what happens with this person's life, and um, Sean and I forget his buddy's name, Peep, something like that, whatever. They they said that like his de- their de- the delusion that the Joker had, they like saw through it right away. But like, I didn't see through it right away because like. Like you're talking with like uh, the girl the in his girl, apartment, yeah, bin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, shout even, out Zazzy B. Even even when he was on uh, Murray's show, and he like the first time, you know what I mean? And he's like, I just want to be a kind person. I just want to make people laugh. Da da da. Um, all of that, it was just like, okay, yeah, like this is. It was all possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, I ca- it, it wasn't extremely possible, but it was possible enough if you like just suspend 
if you believe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, when that shit came back around, it was just like, damn, like, this person's delusion really made him, like, see the world in a completely different way. That's absolutely true to him. Like, you, you couldn't convince him that what he saw didn't happen. Because it convinced me that what he saw happened. Yeah, I kind of knew it was... I kind of, like, started to understand, like, that he was having delusional thoughts, bro, because, like, in that scene with the talk show host and that scene with the girl in his apartment, they just tell him everything that he that he wants to hear. You know, there's... Everything's so simple and one-dimensional in what they're Easy. saying. Yeah. yeah. The When she, like, she goes to his comedy shows, she's the only one laughing in the crowd. You know? Yeah. That's the I think that was the hardest scene to watch for me. That uh when he, when was, he was on stage at the comedy club. Yeah. At the beginning of it, yeah. Yeah. That shit was crazy as fuck. For sure. Shout out to uh Todd Phillips. I feel like Todd Phillips, the director of this movie, he like really took some nods from Donald Glover's series Atlanta. Not only because uh two of the main actors in Atlanta were in it, but I feel like just a lot of the shots were stylized in the way and like a lot of the like color filters and grains that were used in the t- like technicality of the shooting I feel like were stylistically very very similar to Atlanta. Yeah. I that's just a that's just a weird observation that I had but I I do think there's a lot of truth to that. A lot of those like drone shots. Yeah. Um especially like the scene where he's like uh spoiler alert again when he's uh strangling his mother with the pillow. Yeah. Like you see him sh- you see him, uh, what? I don't know. The scene, like, I don't know. It was funny. You see, like, uh, there's a shot, like, right here of him doing it in really intense. And then there's, like, a scene where it shows, like, uh, almost like a peripheral of the room. And he's, like, and you see him, like, trying to uh, suffocate his mother with the pillow. And he's, like, in the, ju- he's just, like, at the, he's not in the center at all. It's just, like, a from the corner of the room shot. That reminded me a lot of, like, the style of, like, Hiro Moy and, uh, Donald Glover's like shooting style in Atlanta. Yeah, I thought it, I just thought it was interesting, and I think that the, having those two prominent actors um, from Atlanta, I I don't remember uh, the guy who plays Paperboy's name, but um, I think that it, I think that it was just a nod. I feel like that's I I just noticed it. It was cool when they were struggling for that paperwork. It was so funny to me. Oh really? Yeah, that was <laughs> why. Like, I don't know. It was just like there were a lot of moments that were just funny as fuck. Like, like that. I disagree with that. You. Was funny, and then the the like after like uh, the scene where like he the, kills the guy, he kills the coworker. Yeah. And then <laughs> the the little dudes like yeah. trying to get out, but he can't. He yeah. can't reach like the rope block. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he just casually lets him out. He's like, dude, I, I'm sorry, I got you. Yeah. I like day, I like man. how he um even though he, he got delusional and he started killing people he started doing like that wild shit he still walked a line along a uh, moral like straight line right to where like he wasn't hurting people that weren't doing anything fucked up he like if you look in the movie he only hurt people that were kind of fucked up so like the three guys in the subway he killed them because they were like harassing a girl I don't know people. and then um he killed his coworker that like. But the thing is, in, framed him basically. In, in, in his own moral compass, if somebody does something bad to you, if, even if it's like small, you're justified to do whatever you want to them. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the moral compass. But the thing is, like you said, he killed his uh, coworker that framed him and got him fired. So he saw him as that's a bad person. Yeah, I can eradicate the bad person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The short guy never did nothing to him. He was always nice to him. So he didn't. What did? He what did? Killed, he should have killed both of them. What did Murray do to him? Murray brought him on a show to uh, clown yeah. him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he made fun of him. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was like that's um, literally what it, made him kill Murray. Like the joke initially was to kill himself on the show. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. He so, rewrote like, it. Uh-huh. His his. I, I, I feel he, like re- he called an audible. He called an audible. <laughs> he flew three two. Yeah, for real. No, Your but like like bitch, in, kill Murray. In in his um, I feel like his his moral compass became like my the consequences for any action. Can be whatever I want. Yeah. Instead of like a matching consequences for the action. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and it just like, yeah, man. Where do you think Joaquin Phoenix's performance ranks among the legendary uh, actors that play the Joker? Too early. 
Too early to tell? Too early for Come me. Come on. It's not too early to tell. For me, uh, I, 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 can, I can throw an answer out now, but it won't be the same answer in, in a while. It's honestly hard to rank them because, like, you really don't see the Joker. Like, you see, yeah, he, you're he, right. you see glimpses here and there. It's more you about— You really don't see him until he's on that show. Yeah, until he until he comes out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's it's almost like you you see the build up the 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 yeah. the embryonic. We type literally shit. need a whole other film with him being the Joker to like there, make you, a you, fair you, assumption. Yeah, you, because you, like on on I, every other film, all of those actors got the chance to really just while out and be out of pocket the whole time. Yeah, yeah. through they were Joker from start to finish. It like, this, I, th- I think that's why right. I would give Heath Ledger like the top because like there's just so like that movie's just packed with so many just like bits of him just being a complete fucking maniac. What you yeah. just said actually. You know, like burning piles of money. Burning piles of money. I yeah. love like, that Like when scene. he dresses up as the nurse and like is Harvey Dent's nurse. Yeah. Like yeah. He, fucking insane, dude. So what, what you I just said, right? Where, pencil through the forehead. The I love the like, scene where he burns the money. The fact that like they had all the time to be the Joker and Joaquin only had like a little bit towards the end. Yeah. I think Joaquin might be like, it's, it's definitely top two. But I think he, if you just saying that is probably top one because like he didn't have the time to be the Joker, but it still captured you in that and, time. Yeah, his his and, body language was just like so you know what I'm saying dramatized and yeah he yeah. like captured you without yeah. even having the opportunity to be the Joker. So imagine what, if he gets the opportunity to be the Joker. I'm saying it's unfair to judge it, unfair. it on that, but like like you said, like yeah, there like there's an, the parts that you do get to see. Like damn, like yeah, he would have been even better. Yeah. And like an all out, you know. It made so, so do, do you guys think there's a follow up? Like a second movie coming? I hope not. I hope not either. I'd like I think it would cheapen the movie's message and the movie's impact if there was another one. Yeah. I just it, I, I think that like yeah. I think that we like the movies with the Joker in it are the follow up. You know, I feel like this like I, this movie made me wanna watch The Dark Knight, you know? Yeah. And like and I know that I know that the two take place in like different necessary like different timelines and mm-hmm. the stories are tweaked and the origin stories are tweaked, but like this wanted me to like look, watch Heath Ledger's performance knowing what I know now now about the Joker's character. And I know like it's I know that it's not like comic comic book like uh, canon. Like I know that like this Joker movie wasn't accurate to how the Joker's origin story origin story was in like the comic books, but they still paid homage nice. to Heath Ledger's character in certain ways, like because they recreated the um, the cop car scene. Yeah, when he was looking out the window. Yeah, yeah. like that scene was like to a T, like the angle and everything. Like it was a hundred percent. Like in this um, white room, Marty Back meds, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm just taking ibuprofen and heating pads, Eli's bro. Been on yeah. quaaludes. Man, it was a good you movie. You need some though. quaaludes, and though. I highly recommend it. I highly um, recommend it too. It's a movie that's gonna make you think. I hate, I hate like talking up a movie because then you go in with hype, and when you go in yeah, with hype, hard, it makes you un- like because you're you're expecting something crazy, and then when it's good, but it's not to the expectation that you set, it's a little bit underwhelming. So don't go in being like, this is the greatest movie ever. Just go in and be like, oh, this is a cool movie that I'm ready, I'm excited to watch. Well, I'd hope you wouldn't watch this podcast if you haven't seen it. We should we should, we should, uh, we should put it on the title, Don't Watch Unless You've Seen the Joker Movie. Yeah. yeah. That's a good move. Yeah. And that should just be the title. That should be the title. Don't watch if you haven't seen the Joker movie. <laughs> Son of a bleep! Yeah. <laughs> I liked the how Batman was like vaguely mentioned. Bruce he showed Wayne. up. Yeah. Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne. Baby Bruce. Little baby, Bruce. Baby Bruce. Brucey. Little baby Bruce. And um I, f- I forget what movie it was. Um I think it's Batman Beyond, but the Joker all he wanted to do was to make Batman laugh and smile and like he when he came to that fence, you you saw a glimpse of him of that starting, you know what I mean? Like just wanting his quote unquote, who he thinks is his little brother yeah. to, cause it, in reality, his, his whole life existence is to make people happy and smile. He literally says it. Right. And then like, if obviously he's going to be super, uh, 
super looking forward to make his little brother laugh and smile. So like that, when he was standing on the opposite side of the fence and he was like trying to like, I was like, yo, like, damn. Yo, you know what I'm like? I, it's just now hitting to me. Yeah. Is that the Joker and Batman are brothers? No, they're not. They're like, yeah, they, they, no, they they're not. Could be. No, they're not because the whole scene of the whole flashback of his, uh, like adopted mom. Yeah. In the, in like the, the, the jail, um, like interrogation room was yeah. her just basically making politicians up always fake papers though. Yeah. I, I don't think, I, uh, I don't think, you know what I mean? Well, I, that, I, I, that, I that, see what you're saying. But that adopt, but, that adoption paper was in her government file. So there's no, like... The government also, like... They, I don't know. They could have gave I don't fake. think so. Yeah. And even even if... Even if that's a theory... To, Fuck Thomas Wayne! Even if that... Even <laughs> if Thomas Wayne. <laughs> 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 Uncle Tom. Even if that is a theory to this film, that's just this film's timeline of like it's not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it's uh it, <clears throat> this film doesn't change all of the other stories uh that have to do with batman gotham and joker no but yeah but can you imagine that through that lens yeah i can that'd be, but that, that'd be cool it would be shakespearean yeah two brothers just two brothers yeah. two brothers yeah. fighting it out like how many of these do you need Dude, You're going to be the Joker. Can we relax? Why Lighter we, why city, baby. You know what I'm saying? Why do we got to do this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop it. You literally have them all on the table. <laughs> oh. They just ended up here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stay prepared, you know? Why, Stay why ready. You all never got to get ready. ready. Paper boy. Paper boy. All about that paper boy. Yeah. yeah. Man. Man. Shout, shout out to <laughs> shout out, I don't know. Shout out to Rivertown Brewing Company. <laughs> Suburban Housewife Cucumber Blackberry. Uh, something. Kolsch style ale. I like Kolsch's. They're all right. Speaking They're of Kolsch's, did you hear about uh <laughs> that police officer that shot the lady in her own house. I did, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was probably off the Colches. Let's let's He's stop. Like, yeah, let's stop. He better have been off the Colches. Let's stop. Let's stop laughing. Yeah. There was no transition. No, it no, wasn't. It's okay either. though. We're, we we're here. We landed on it. Let's just I'm keep going. Just like how, <laughs> he got convicted of murder to today. Yeah. On October fifteenth, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, he was a bitch ass guy, man. He got a. Uh, he got uh Walking up to a window. See a Can lady you imagine? in her house with a gun. It's Texas, bro. You a bitch. Pull out the gun and start shooting. Did the did she have a gun in her house? So she okay. So this what happened. She was, uh, was babysitting she? her nephew, and they were staying up late playing video games. And her door was open. And then she um, apparently she like heard some shit outside. So she like she's a lady. You know what I mean. So she grabs her whatever and like walks towards the door and the officer oh, fuck. instead of like going to the front door and knocking like hey is anybody in here is everybody okay he like hopped the fence went to the side of the building and like saw her walking towards the door and he just like hey put the gun down and as soon as he said it he didn't really give any time and just like started like shooting at her that's just so irrational yeah this this is the second like uh the second like news story of somebody getting shot in their house like that a uh, female officer from like a year ago shot uh what's his name I could pull up his name in a second but shot him in his house because she mistakenly thought that it was her house yeah bro and then I've that footage of the dude getting shot in his car bro it's just it's out of control yeah i think like i don't know what it's going to take for it to change you said it the other day like yesterday um you got to get people that empathize with the people that they're police policing. in their own communities yeah. yeah i mean like if if, if you if you grew up in a context where you know you know the the families that grew up in this neighborhood or you know the context of the neighborhood it makes your compassion for that neighborhood your understanding for that neighborhood to i don't know you're not gonna want to make a move that you like you can't you can't reverse and like there are these people that you know, 
live in different parts of the country or different parts of a big city that have no sort of conceptual understanding of what people are actually going through that just like start shooting people. Yeah. And I, I, you know, that idea had been brought to my attention before, but it really hit home for me when I heard the song Friends by J. Cole. Yeah. And he, uh, the line is, uh, uh, cops, uh, the police ride around in neighborhoods that they never lived in. What do you expect, man? Fuck the competition. I don't remember the next line, but it's just a good thought. Like, I mean, yeah. it just it makes sense to me, you know. We gotta stop like hiring some hoe ass cops. Still, yeah. I feel like I don't know. The process should be more rigorous. And well, how how like? Because like if if if, if how you're, more if you're rigorous a person? How right? more rigor? Like how like. There's already a whole police academy. There's a whole like process to it, and I'm not saying it's perfect, but like, what well, I mean, what, else, is, what else? What else? What else could be system added to? Is, it? Has been broken and has been corrupted, and like, there's just so many principles and cultures of becoming a cop and being a cop, yeah. and like maintaining your position as a cop that it, like the whole entire system would like need to just be changed yeah. and like rewired, rebranded. Etc. There's, I don't think there's an easy solution of going in, like saying, like even more difficult, like uh, entry. You know, what I mean, like yeah. doing certain things like that because there's already people, like the system's already filled with corrupt cops. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? like yeah. corrupt people in power. There, there's, there's a bunch of different, there's a bunch of things that's wrong with it. You know what I mean? Like you got right. the corrupt cops, then you got the cops that like tried to go to the military but couldn't make it. So and Murph like, and Murph brought up a good point last night. Shout out to fucking Mike Murder and Murphy. Shout out to Mike. Shout out he to Mike. To we he was. We yeah, forgot. Right. <laughs> completely forgot. He'll be on. Next, Next, he'll be on. Episode, um, but he had a really good point. Like, a lot of these cops are fucking, you know, they're trained and they're also like expecting people to fucking shoot at them. The mil- yeah. they're, they're, it's military. almost like a, it's almost like a military, it's militaristic. Yeah, guy. military, uh, like, uh, you know, attitude. Yeah. Like, these people are trying to kill you when that is. You know, far, far, far from the case. Yeah, and I, I just think it's so simple. Like, yeah, how are you supposed to? How are you? How are? How are you supposed to properly train somebody to not? Yeah, and how are succumb you, to like the symptoms of like, like uh, I don't even know anxiety or like even yeah. I mean, like, it's like gotta be a hard. It's you gotta be. Like you have to be the one in charge, and you're not ready for it, so you panic. It's, it's gotta yeah. be a hard job too. I, yeah, it's yeah, gotta yeah. be and, a really hard job to deal with. In saying that, you gotta you gotta have people that are capable of dealing with the job and and not cracking under pressure. I yeah. agree. You you have to because like if if I feel like a, a lot of times too, it'll be like guys that like might have not had any power or authority when they were younger. Yeah. So they're like, oh, I'm gonna be an officer, and then they abuse that, and then they like people like that usually aren't ready for a situation of like having to like put yourself in risk. And not react in 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 the worst way, you know what I mean? Yeah. It takes it takes special people to be like in a situation and be like, and 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 still think about the other people. Yeah. Yeah. I you just know? I don't I don't understand how, you know, you have these people trying to protect and serve a community, but they don't even understand the community that they're trying to protect or serve. Yeah. You know, I, I and I'm not. That, I, I think also that, that, that's that's broad and maybe that's not but like in in the protecting and serving i think that's uh more just a saying than a culture because if you watch a lot of the videos um of officers walking up to cars and the, the ones that don't even end up in people getting shot or anything like that the ones that are just regular right if if, if you watch a, a routine checkup yeah majority of the time right the videos you see oh let me see your id let me see your – they're in, in, from the initial interaction is, hey, I'm in charge here. Listen to me. My voice is, you know, mm-hmm. loud. Let me see where your hands are. Like, that's already setting up a, a, a tense situation. And then, like, if you're setting up a tense situation, other people are gonna you're going to assume the other people are going to – you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, like, if, if you look at, like, foreign – like, if, if you look at uh, officers in, like, the U.K., they don't really carry guns. Mm-hmm. And the way they approach people is, hey, how you doing? What's going on today? They yeah. ask you what's going on. Let me figure out the situation. Not yeah, coming yeah, in yeah. and assuming like fr- from the initial call. You know, because a lot of times when people call, they're like, they're looking from the outside. 
oh, there's two people across the street. They're doing this. You don't know what, you know what I mean? It could be two friends. It, it could look like it's a fight, but it could be two friends just shoving each other, playing around. And then you come over and you see these two guys. They're like big guys. So now you're afraid. You think these guys are already uh, have tension. And like you set up the situation weird. Instead of just like walking up and being like, hey, how you guys doing? What's the, what's, you know what I mean? What's going on here? Like mm-hmm. the tones. There's, there's, yeah, we, we just got a weird system of, uh, we got a weird policing system, man. It's just, yeah, it's just so hardcore. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's small minded. It's like a gang. It's, it's like a gang. It's, it's like the biggest gang. It's small, it's very small minded. I feel like there's no, it's everything. Literally, and I'm not saying this to try to be funny, it's mm-hmm. literally like a black and white mentality. Yeah. And that, so us versus them. Uh, ver- us versus them, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, and, you know, it's funny we're talking about this now because, Apparently on no uh, uh, on on at fucking Cali's on Saturday, that group that you were trying to break up the fight, oh, yeah. they were all fucking all cops off duty cops, yeah. you know celebrating a, a wedding or some shit, just being mad disrespectful to people at uh at the bar and apparently uh, CY told me that they. Walked out on like a forty five hundred dollar bar tab at the at the brewery, like just walked out, and like, granted, that's kind of the establishment's fault for not getting like a prepaid card before. Oh yeah, but yeah. like, these are these are respected law enforcers of our community that just like walk out and yeah, and then start fights at the bar down the street. Yeah, if you, you know? feel like you're the ultimate authority, though. That shit goes to people's heads. I know, man. It's it's weak. Especially when the booze is around. Yeah, I just... Uh, it's an evil thing. Yeah. They were literally starting a fight with somebody that was being... Drunk. Drunk and stupid. Yeah. Disrespectful of that, but, like... I don't know. It's all right, though. Uncle Buck was there to help break it up and, <laughs> yeah. and bring the peace. He was there to protect and serve. Listen, it takes a fucking village. You don't need no goddamn cops. Everyone just, you know, do what the fuck is right, man. <laughs> let us sell weed. Usually we protect. Let us sell uh, weed. That's how you like, get seriously, <laughs> let, like let it happen. You got yeah, some like, weed? There'll be less drama about it. You got it, some you know? weed? Like, people will be like, you know, less. You got some weed, bro. People should just smoke Confrontation. Weed. Bro, it just makes me think of that Hannibal Burris. Sketch on uh, the Eric Andre show when he's like has a forty and he's <laughs> we usually protect but today we serve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we usually protect but today we serve and that picture is meaningless. Uh yeah, I don't know. It's 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 domestic. It's at a certain point it becomes domestic terrorism. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I true. and then I try. I brought up that Hannibal Burris thing. To, get the laughs off but yeah at a certain point it becomes a problem and need something. i can i yeah. i'm not i'm not I'm, I'm i'm a white man in america but i i just can't even imagine how traumatized i would be if i was uh a person of color because yeah. it's it's a lot i can't even be like like it's it would be i this the cops freak me out anyway i'm scared of the cops anyway you know, I don't know how shifty they're gonna be on a given day, but yeah. if and I was that, that if I was if if I was in their eyes looking suspicious, it would, you know what I mean? That shouldn't be the case. Yeah, it it be. shouldn't. I'm not saying it you should. Know what I'm absolutely saying? not. Yeah, that's the no, no. I, I'm saying yeah, like yeah. It, it should never be the case. It should be like you. Cops should be seen as firefighters. You never see a firefighter yeah. and like, oh, I should get away from this person. You got a really yeah. good point. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit! Like, like, yeah. Like firefighters, like, you oh, see a firefighter. Thank you're God, like, we got a firefighter here yeah. in case some shit pops off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when we're cops, and it's like, oh man, here's a cop. He's probably gonna pull some shady ass shit. Yeah. Plant some drugs on somebody or like sprinkle you know, some crack on him, walk away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a crazy point. Yeah. Whenever a fire, whenever you see Fuck a the police, like, Fuck. <laughs> whenever you see a firefighter, though, bro, it's like. Whenever you see a firefighter, bro, it's almost like a like a fucking superhero just yeah. walked in. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't you don't there's not that connotation with, with police officers. Yeah, with a police officer's like, what is he gonna try to switch the situation to and get me on? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You you call the cops and he's like, yeah, Oh, that music's kinda loud, I might give you a citation. It's like they look for it's literally they don't come to help. They they come to 
give somebody some type of punishment. Bro, I was yeah, I was throwing a house party fucking three years ago when I lived in the warehouse, and I had like probably a hundred people in the house. Yeah. And I walk out, and for some reason, I was the guy that always talks to the cops. I don't know why. I was a little drunk, and the I I walk out and talk to the cops, and there's like four cops out there. Yeah. And I hear someone scream, "Fuck the police!" out the window. And one of the cops looks at me and goes, if I hear another person say, fuck the police one more time, I'm going in the house and giving everybody underages. And I'm like. You're such a cornball. Sticks and stones won't break my, like, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You're a fucking cop. Like, what the fuck? You're a big ass cornball. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving everybody, I'm going in the house, giving everybody underages. If I hear, fuck the police. Three words. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like I would have said it right, so <laughs> no, you <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's just a flaunting of power, man. It is. It's weird. It was weird, and I think about that moment a lot. I don't know. I'm going in the house and giving everybody underages. First Amendment, bitch. and he knows it would scare me because I was 20 years old. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's some ho shit. There, there, there are a few cops that uh, got some respect. Yeah, I mean, only I've, I've, not, I've had two interactions with police ever that were positive. You know, had yeah. more than that, but only two were positive. And to this day, I still remember it. It was like uh, Sean Weaver from IUP. It was an officer. I should have got a DUI, but he he looked out. And then actually three. Uh, I was at Cheney. Um, I was wilding out, partying too hard. You know what I mean? Officer just walked me back to my room instead of giving me another underage or whatever. And then. Uh, I was down in the Harley the one day, and the police got called because somebody had a BB gun, and they shot at this, like, fucking random thing, and, like, they pulled up. And then I, I spit towards the ground, and this officer who, I don't know, he had, like, small man syndrome or whatever the fuck, he was like, you spit towards me? I looked at him like, fuck out of here, clown. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say sorry. You're not going to grovel. But I'm like, I ain't spit towards you. I spit over here. And then he came up. He was like, hey, you better not disrespect me. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yo, you're weird. Like, get out of my face. And then this other officer came over and grabbed him. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. He was acting up because he had a hard day. So what? He had a hard day. You have a job that's important. Yeah, you know what I mean? No excuse. Like, you you literally have a job. You're, you're, you're the servant of the people. You decided to do it. If you can't do it, fucking quit. Yep. Yeah. Do something that you can do. If you yeah. can't handle it. And I always hate when people are like, oh, they risked their lives. They signed up for it. You know what I'm saying? They signed up for it. They do. And, and when they do the job right, we commend them. When they don't, we got to hold them accountable, bro. Like, yeah. If we don't, then it's just like, oh, he's an officer. Let him go. Man, fuck out of here. That's that's You literally have one of the highest responsibilities, so people should yeah. not try to like you get let you get away with it. You know what I mean? Too. Yeah. You're held to a higher standard, and you signed up for it. Whenever I see people miserable at their job, I'm like, why don't you quit and do something that actually that, 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 that you can see yourself doing and appreciate? Yeah. 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 If you can't do the job... If you can't do the job right, don't do the job. Yeah. I think that we need people to look. Dude, we need to watch the Andy Griffith show more and more, dude. Andy Gif- Griffith show? Andy and Griffith we show. we need RoboCops that are designed <laughs> <laughs> around the core values. The nah, dude. Andy fuck Griffith. RoboCops. The people that are setting up RoboCops the cops. are scary, the bro. RoboCops. The Andy Griffith RoboCops, dude. <laughs> <Andy> Griffith. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> The people that are setting up the cops would set it with bias. So Opie. Still... Opie. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Opie. Would, would, Opie. It would, be a panel. it would be a Opie. panel of people. On, yeah, it would just be Andy wired Griffith. to Andy Griffith <laughs> in, in the show. Yeah. Like, if we would program a robot to just watch the Andy Griffith shows. And like, Andy okay, Griffith. Andy Griffith. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> I get your concern. Cool. All right. I've seen Andy my Griff- robot. Andy right? Griffith <laughs> Robocop. Yo, shout out to all the Will Smith movies, man. Yeah. Honestly, Gemini, man. Let's wa- end it with that. Let's end it with cool Will Smith movies. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to watch Seven Pounds lately just so I can cry. Uh, Yo. Because I know that's going to hit me harder as like a grown Band like, a grown in Canada. Because I saw that when I was like 13. Same, same with that tears. one. Yeah. yeah Te- big ass, thick ass. Like peanut butter type t- tears. <laughs> PB and J tears. Yeah, thick ass tears from uh, Pursuit of Happiness. One of my favorite movies ever. Bro, yeah. I'm gonna go with Hitch. This is my favorite Will Smith All right, movie. That, we're done. Hitch is like one After of like the favorite best, movie, like, pick, dude. Kevin Smith. Up. Yeah. Eva Mendes. Done. Will Smith. Best movie of all time, Hitch. dude. 
Shit makes me horny should, every time. You should have said Wild Wild West <laughs> shit. if you're going in that direction. <clears throat> Bro, Hitch is the best movie ever. The scene where he gets the Benadryl fucking poisoning, dude. What the fuck you talking about? I Am Legend. Oh, dude, I Am Legend is a compelling film. When he when he cried at the end. I said cried at the end. When, when he, like, did he choke? The, he had to choke his dog out. Yeah, that shit. And then when shit's... he took the grenade so the, the girl and the uh, mom could get away. That shit's crazy. Will Smith is a fucking man. With the cure. With the cure. I'm excited to see ah, Gemini, man. man. What is it? What is it? He looks it's like, like so he's fucking not Fresh one Prince. One Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> two Will two Smiths. Will Smith. <laughs> In a world with two Will Smiths. <laughs> It's like funny. Like I swear to God, I know. Like somebody like in the last thirty years predicted that this is how Hollywood would in end up. In a world yeah. with be a two load of shit. Will Smiths. It just might not be. Sh- it's Will Smith though. Two Will Smiths. You know? I I still haven't it seen Ali. I need to see Ali. I need to see him play Muhammad Ali. I need. To I see would really like to too. see that. Oh, I haven't seen Concussion either. Yeah. Wait, is Ali like a new movie coming out where he's? No, Muhammad it Ali? came out in two thousand one, dude. I'm looking at oh, it I've right never now. Seen that shit, bro. Well, uh, yeah. hey, shout out to to Big Willie. Big Hancock, dude. We have Hancock oh, yeah. at no, the Squid Hut. We this one all slept on superhero movies. Hancock, all time Hancock it's movie not, night. It's not Marvel. It's not DC. Fuck that shit. Hancock's bro. a good ass movie. Hancock rules. Hancock's just a cool concept. What yeah. if this superhero was just like a bum, like someone and that his like only weakness was love. Yeah, it's weird. It's crazy. Only love. I think the best movie ever, though, Uh, the best concept for a movie ever is Andy Griffith Robocop. (laughs) Andy Griffith Robocop. Rated PG. Coming soon. It's not rated R. It's rated PG 13. Of course. To a theater. How far are we going to take it? It's Andy Griffith Robocop. It's Andy Griffith. Opie. That's right, son. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. But. Well, I think you'd better stay the night so the judge can come by morning. Think about what you've done. <laughs> Have you ever watched Andy Griffith's show? No. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Bro. Dude, Andy Griffith's show is a really good it's show. old as hell. Yeah. Anything it's before classic, 2002, though. you can assume I didn't see it. Uh, have you heard? Tom Segura has a really crazy fucking story about Bruce Bruce. He meets Bruce Bruce on a plane, and Bruce Bruce's like favorite show is Andy Griffith Show. He's like, I've seen every episode of <laughs> Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> episode two fifteen is my favorite episode. Yeah. It's the best. Uh, I like Andy Griffith Show. I'm not saying it's what the best it show ever. It's about this small town, and Andy Griffith is, plays this the chief of police, yeah. and it, it's like raises this kid and about this people in this town and how he's just this moral upstanding character. Okay. It great has guy. a lot of great American old timey values. Yeah. Sounds terribly boring. It is kind of boring, but I got high the other night and watched it. Yeah. <laughs> you watch it when you're baked, and it's a great show, man. I was. I, yeah, I was. It was nice. It was nice. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna end it off with that. It was a great time. It was a really good time. Thank y'all for showing up. Thanks, Thanks for, for uh, up. enduring uh, the Lake Erie Gumbo podcast. Yeah. yeah this Don't is- watch it if you haven't seen the Joker. Yeah. It's too late to say that. <laughs> Advice for the beginning of the show. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Don't watch, watch it if you yet. if you have a little bit of you know uh, a little bit of a weak stomach. Don't uh. Don't uh. Yeah. We're not political. These are just our opinions. Don't play in traffic. You know? Dude. There was a... Never mind. Lake Erie Gumbo. Gumbo. Sign in. Leg, leg. Oh, leg if you got a leg, bad leg, back, leg, put your leg, hands leg, up. Leg, if you got a bad leg, back, leg, put your leg, hands leg, up. Leg, if you got leg, a heat and put leg, your leg, hands leg. up. If you got leg, a heat and put your hands up. Hands up. Lay, 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 l